Bobby, you out here? Guess I'm not going that way. Man, vigilantes be crazy. Cray cray. Oh, that reminds me. Uh, Arrow is actually on tomorrow night. Oh, yeah. You guys watching Arrow? What you guys think of the show? Auto shop must be down this way. All right, well, let's get to it. Looters will be shot on sight. Whoa, whoa. Oh, ain't nobody got time for that. Nobody got time for that. Damn. That was probably Molly being being a nuisance. Well, climbing the fence isn't an option. Is there a zombie behind that wall? Ah, oh, okay. I think we're safe. No looty loser. Ah, there it is. Hole. Oh, God, Lee, your track record for climbing isn't that great. Come on now, let's do it. Ha <laughs> ha, good for you, Lee. And no fall damage. Guys, I think we leveled up. I don't like that camera angle though. Feels like we're being stalked. Must be the entrance to that auto shop where Bree said we'd find that battery. Well, if it was Allison Bree, I'd probably be more attentive, but uh oh god, what's over here? <laughs> Ew. Get too close. Zombie sounds like it's choking on the D. Uh, we've all had uh, experiences like that, guys, right? Am I right? Yeah, I'm probably on my own on this one. All right, garage door. Damn it, we haven't leveled up just yet to lift doors Damn. by ourselves. It's jammed tight. I still do not like this aerial view crap. I'm going to get Goomba stomped or some shit. Where the hell do I go? No, oh, what the f oh, okay. Leave him. He's ah She's a couple of levels ahead of me though. Nice to see you, girl. Nice to see you. Damn, that's hot. I think you got him there. I think you got it. But just to make sure, yeah, give him one more. He's wearing medical scrubs. Some kind of scientist or doctor, maybe? Yeah, well, he ain't shit now. Did you find us a way in? Yeah. But the garage door's jammed. Can't raise it. Not a problem. Look what I found. Aha! <laughs> convenient car, Jack. That'll work. And convenient as always, the zombies decide. <laughs> Oh, language, Lee, we have younger viewers here. Oh, this is going to be a QTE. I can feel it. Ah, <laughs> look at that. Oh, wait, it's not dead. Ah, I guess she didn't go for the head. Ah, very stupid. Very stupid. Take a look around. I'll make sure no stragglers get under this door. Alright, we'll strip Optimus Prime for parts in a second, but what has Molly got to say? Something you need? 
Oh, hell yeah, but uh, why did you decide to help us? So why did you decide to help us? I told you, I'm expecting a ride on that boat once that hillbilly friend of yours has got it running. That's sure not that's it. Right. No. Are you interrogating me, or do you want to get the damn battery and get out of here? She likes us, Lee. So Crawford, eh? What happened to Crawford? Don't know. Don't care. As far as I'm concerned, these fuckers got what was coming to them. Hell yeah! Not a lot of sympathy for all the people who died here, huh? I have about as much for them as they did for the sick and the old and anyone else they didn't think was fit to belong in their little paradise. So yeah, fuck them. Oh, Lee, come on. What was all that about back there? He came at me up on that rooftop, tried to take a bite out of me, so I took care of business. What, you got a problem with me killing geeks? No, it just seemed like you went to town on him a little more than you needed to. Hey, you never really know when those things are all the way dead. I was just making sure. Look, you want to get this battery or not, time's wasting. I'm going to have a look around. You do that. Yeah, well, very good for getting the job done. He's still alive outside. All right, Optimus. Looks like Crawford had their own semi-trucks. Maybe there's a car battery in there we can use for the boat. Yeah, maybe. Ooh, the alarm is on in that car. More of Crawford's rules. How did anybody live like this? I'd rather take my chances on the outside. Yeah, we'll tell that to Carly Lee and Katya and Duck. We'd be safer with Rick. Crazy bastard. <laughs> Pardon my French. It's locked. No way in. And the Walking Dead is over too. Everything's over. It's nothing on TV. All right, hydraulic hose. Don't think I can pry that hose apart with just my hands. Maybe if I had something to. Hey, if Chris Redfield can smash through boulders with his fists, I think you'll do okay, Lee. Something you need? Think I can borrow that uh, hook thing of yours? I don't know. Hilda and I have been through a lot together. Hilda? That's what I call her. Don't judge. Please, can I borrow Hilda? I'll take good care of her. She won't get a scratch. Hey, we actually get the weapon this time. Not a scratch. Can I keep her? I always give my toys away. And this will lower the uh Ah, okay. Oh, oh yep, there we go. Oh shit! They learned how to crouch. There's the no, Hilda. Finally, something goes right. Oh god, here we go. Still attached to the terminals. What? I was clicking it. Ah, oh, we got. Wait, what? Oh, okay, my bad. My bad, y'all. It's off. All right, we got it. Got it. Yeah, but we still got a problem here. Put it in here. I'll carry it. Ah. Hey, okay, follow me. Molly, don't turn bad. Move your ass. Hell yeah. Do the Harlem sh oh, nah. <laughs> that got old really quick. All right, Molly, we're in the middle of a goddamn mosh pit. All right, we might have light way on the way down, but I don't think we can fly, Molly. Shoot it out. How am I going to get up? Oh, sh do not drop me, please. Damn. <coughs> Voice crack. First stop complaining. Come on. Yeah, I've noticed that too, Molly. You get used to it. <laughs> Fuck that. Come on, what are you, chicken? Jump. Oh, because I'm black, you think I'm chicken? Hmm? What did you call me? 
Oh, oh, oh. you're unleashing the beast. Ali, come on! Oh, 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 oh! Oh, look at that! And she caught us mid jump too. God, Molly, you are definitely part of this group. You're an asset, that's the word I was looking for. Come on. Later. Something I gotta do first. What? Molly! Wait, you still got the battery. Yeah, I think I'll hold on to it. Make sure you don't leave without me. See you back in class. Molly! God damn it, what the hell is she doing? She's probably talking to Oliver Queen, you know what I'm saying? Can't reach it. It's too high up. Damn, well that was adventurous, guys. We did a lot of parkour. You know, don't say uh Molly, episode four isn't there. full of surprises. Molly. What the hell is she doing? <laughs> well, it's better than Freddy Prince Jr. and Mass Effect with Hey. Hey. You guys have made no progress. Sure. Come on now. You don't need any help? We're taking care of it, Lee. Don't worry. I have to worry. People are dying here. Well, not right now, but... You know. We don't have a good track record. What, what the hell? Oh, God! Little help here. Oh, gee. Hey. School's out for the summer. Mm. Yes, Pop! <laughs> oh god, no, we're wasting bullets. Oh man, we're losing. Oh, and I lost Helga or Hilda or whatever the hell. Yeah, nailed it. Yeah, and I'd take them all if I had the chance. You got the fuel. Let's not start high-fiving each other just yet. Oh, we can let one high-five pass. Come on. I high-fived your son. Aw, oh, I, I just remember too soon. That was probably one of the cutest moments in uh, The Walking Dead so far. Yeah, and we made out pretty good, too. Great work, Kenny. How you doing with that door? Not so good. Here, let me give you a hand. Aw, they're bromancing it up. Yet? Yeah, we got yeah. the battery, but Molly, Molly took it. She should be back here soon. She'd better be. You leave my woman alone now. Bree? Hey, Lee. Thanks for all your help back there. I don't think we would have made it without you. Nah, you'd be dead. No problem. We're all on the same you be nom noms. All right, what to ask you? So you're a cancer survivor. So you're a cancer survivor, like Vernon and the others. Yeah, I was diagnosed when I was in college. Been getting treatment ever since. Just when I was starting to get better, when I thought there might be some hope, all this happened. Lost my whole family. I'm the only one who survived. Funny how things work out, huh? No, it's not funny at all. That's terrible, and you're a terrible person for thinking that. Uh, how long have you known Vernon? Oh, look at that. He ran our support group. He was really great helping me come to terms with my disease. But how do you come to terms with something like this? With a place like Crawford? I don't know what I or, or the other survivors would have done without Vernon. He's the one who held us together, kept us alive. Should have read the comics. <laughs> All right, about Crawford. You think about this whole Crawford situation. I'd rather not talk about it. Too many awful memories. Even being back here gives me a bad feeling. Even now, with everyone dead? I got no sympathy for what happened to these people. They weeded out the sick and the old. Even children. Those least able to defend themselves so that they could save their own skins. Whatever happened here, however Crawford fell, I consider it poetic justice. Damn, girl, that's cold. It's how I feel. If you'd seen what I've seen, you'd feel the same. She's as cold as ice. I'm a little busy here, Lee. Maybe you should go get that battery or help with the medicine. 